Hi guys, I am Steph. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to make a recipe that I've never tried before and as a matter of fact, I'm not really following a recipe. I'm just going to kind of wing it. I've seen something called a fish pie on YouTube and I thought I would just kind of play around with it and see if I could come up with something. Um, this is going to be made in a 7 inch skillet, but first I've got some mashed potatoes here a little bit of tilapia and some shrimp. In this little pot I'm going to make some white sauce. I have some onions, lima beans, carrots, peas, uh, carrots, peas, corn, limas, you know. And uh, I'm just going to see how it comes together. For seasoning I'm going to be using dill, pepper, salt, and then some Old Bay seasoning, which uh, I'm not familiar with either. So. This is going to be fun. You know what? It's going to taste okay. I don't think it's going to be anything that I'll want to throw out, but I'm just going to try it and see how it works out, okay? All right. Let's get started making the, the uh, white sauce. To the white sauce, I'm going to add about a quarter teaspoon of Old Bay. It's for fish and shrimp, right? It can't hurt. Smells good. I melted a teaspoon of butter in the skillet and then I added the fish and the shrimp. I seasoned it with a little bit of salt and pepper and I'm gonna shake on a little bit more of that Old Bay seasoning. Not too much, just a little bit. And then I'll let the fish cook until it takes on a little bit of um, translucency. I have let it poach in the cream sauce for about seven or eight minutes and now I'm going to put the mashed potatoes on top. Okay, and it's going to go in a preheated 350 degree oven. I'm going to check it after about 20 minutes. Okay guys, I just pulled it out of the oven. It looks and smells really, really good. For a final touch, I sprinkled on a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese and I'm going to pump it back into the oven just to let the cheese melt. I did put some foil on the handle. I know that the skillet is heat proof, but I didn't want to take any chances in doing anything to the handle. So here goes, maybe for about three to five minutes. 